szegen ángyal és a tárkel csak sűrűn védőjében, eszmei sűrűvén. Szerintem Sőt, Sőtrinka Maharaj is again reminding us of our prime duty. He began his lecture by telling us that we are all doing sadhu sangu because that's the verdict of Shastras. Shastras very clearly are telling us sadhu sangu, sadhu sangu, sarva shastru kohe. Lava matra sadhu sangu, sarva siddhi hoi. So following this instruction of Shastras, we are doing sadhu sangu. All of us who are present here, we are all doing sadhu sangu. But why the pleasure which everyone is feeling is different? Why there is so much variation in the degree of happiness which each individual is deriving? It should be same because we are hearing from same devotees, we are hearing from one book, but why the result is different? Then he gave example of Parikshit Maharaj when he was hearing Harikatha from Shri Shukadeva Goswami. There were so many <coughs> audience, but all of them could not derive the same effect what Parikshit Maharaj got. Sadhana Bhakti we are doing and we have heard that by performing this different limbs of Sadhana Bhakti gradually our anarthas will go away and we will become pure. But if we truly analyze then we will see actually we haven't made so much advancement. We are standing where we were or maybe very small amount of progress we have made. Why is it so? Is it that there is some difference in the activities we are following? No. Chanting is same for everyone. Pancham Bhakti, that is Tamusam, hearing Bhagavad, residing in Dham, is same for everyone. But still everyone is deriving different, different effect. So certainly there is some consideration in each individual with the motive they are following. So that is why it is said, Dusangam Uttrijya. We should very carefully try to give up all that which is not favorable to Bhakti. <coughs> Whatever is unfavorable, we should strongly give it up. Shri Mahaprabhu has said, Jnani Priyasa Bodhavasya Mantaev Jivanti Sangu Karitam Bhavadiya Vartam. Yes, he said, Sangu Karitam Bhavadiya Vartam. But before that, he said, Jnani Priyasa Bodhavasya. We must give it up. We must try to give up all those things which are not favorable. Yes, this point is also valid when we say satsang is important. This is main, this is prime. If one is not developing some interest or taste in positive things, that is Harikatha or Sadhusang, he will not be able to give up all that is not favorable or in other words material sense enjoyment. But at the same time we should understand that if we just keep sitting and keep waiting for the mercy, just like he quoted, there are two kinds of line of thoughts in South India which are prevailing. One is Marjar Nyai and one is Margat. So first one is Marjar, that is the example of a cat and kitten. And what do we say in that? Kitten doesn't do anything and cat herself she lives or she picks up the kitten in mouth and takes it from one place to another. It doesn't have to make any endeavor. And on the other hand, the example is given of a monkey. The kid of a monkey doesn't, or actually he has to hold the mother if he has to go from one place to another place. Mother doesn't do anything. So we have to accept both. One will not do. If we just keep waiting for the mercy, keep waiting for the mercy, yes. Just by hearing everything will come, everything will manifest and we will achieve perfection. It will not do. It will do, but it will take long, long time, very long time. But the person who is also equally endeavoring to give up those things which are not favorable, he will quickly get the result. And he is actually intelligent person because he has understood the purpose. That's what we are hearing in Harikatha, that we should develop taste and we should give up those things. So, if we consider and thoughtfully understand, then we will, we will accept 
that it is also important that we should try to give up those things which are not favorable. At the same time, simultaneously, we should try to develop taste for satsang and try to follow all that is favorable for us.
then they will not be able to nourish this mood in us. And they should be more advanced than us in all respects. In other words, they should be free from anarthas. So if we chant the holy name in association of such sadhus, then very quickly Krishna will, Krishna Nam will yield all perfection. And then he quoted this verse from Shri Goswami, Tatnavarupachanitavasukhitanam. So, in that verse also, we find the words, Tat Anuragi Dhananugami. So, Tat Anuragi means those who have Anurag in Krishna's name, form, qualities, and pastimes. They have developed their attachment and love for Krishna and for his name, form, qualities, and pastimes. And we should perform this chanting of the holy name in remembrance of Krishna's pastimes under their guidance. Anugami, Jan Anugami means under the guidance of those persons who have this, who have awakened this Anurag, this feeling of attachment towards Krishna's name, form, qualities, and pastimes. And so by chanting the holy name in the association of such persons, while living in Braj and meditating on the pastimes of the Lord, then very quickly we will attain this perfection. So now it is the end of Karthik. It is the end of this uh, Karthik Rath and the end of the Purkrama. And all of us have heard so many instructions now. Sushila so Gurdiv is encouraging us that when we go back to our homes, when we go back to our different places, that we should take these instructions that we have heard uh, we should fix them in our hearts and we should meditate on them and we should go on performing our chanting and remembering <coughs> meditating on these things so the last point he made was that there is both the, the person Bhagavad and the book Bhagavad so now we've had so much chance to have association with both association of sadhus and also hearing Harikata and if we go back to our homes, or when we go back to our homes, there may not be so much uh, opportunity to directly associate with the sadhus, but we can uh, remember the instructions we received while we were here, and we can associate with the, with the book Bhagavad when we go back. We can study the instructions of Rupa Goswami and Krishna Skagaraj Goswami, uh, and this way, get inspiration to uh, perform our budget <coughs> side. Swajati Sniktha Ase Vaishnav Sangha Ho This way, we will see that we will be able to do the same thing as we will be able to do और गुरु गाते के प्रति गुरु परंपरा के प्रति श्रद्धा है सतत ठीक है यदि स्वजातीय कुछ भी हो स्वजातीय तो है किंतु हमारे गुरु परंपरा का विरोध भाव जरूर है a little further on these points. Shilvurde <coughs> was saying that on this point of sajatiya, and well, particularly this point on sajatiya, taking association of those who are like-minded, he was emphasizing the point that we should take association of those who are like-minded in relationship to the thoughts and uh, ideas of our Guru Parampara and our faith in our Guru Parampara. So he said that we may find association with other sadhus who are sujatiya in the sense that uh, they are also uh, they also have the same mood in terms of 
uh, striving to attain, uh, striving to follow Goswami, or stri striving to attain the goal of Krishna praying. But they might, they may not be so jatiya towards our specific Guru Parampara. They may uh, be similar in mood in some respects, but they may be opposed uh, to the specific uh, line of thought of, the, of our Guru Parampara. So he said that this type of uh, Sadhu Sangha will not be helpful to us. Because by that association, our faith in our specific line of gurus will be destroyed. So he said that, like in, uh, in the case of Bhakti Thakur, Srila Bhakti Siddhanta Sarasati Thakur Prabhupada, and Paramahuri and Bhakti Ranta Swami Maharaj, these are not persons of this world. They are all uh, associates of the Lord. So we should not see them in any mundane way. And we should have faith in them and their instructions. And we should take association of persons who nourish our faith in those persons. If we are associating with persons, and by that association the effect that our attachment to the Holy Name is going down, then what is the value of that association? So we should associate with those who are nourishing our attachment and our taste for the Holy Name, such that by the awakening of that taste, then very easily one will chant one lakh, two lakhs. If one has taste of the Holy Name, then naturally one will want to go on chanting. So if on the other hand, we are associating with persons, uh, and the effect of that association is that our attachment for the Holy Name and our faith in our Guru or Guru Parampara is going down, then what is the value of that association? So he said that we should be very careful about this point and we should take Sadhu Sangha uh, considering all these things. Sadhu Sangha, Sadhu Sangha, Sadhu Shastrika. All these Shastras are, all these scriptures are declaring and we should associate with the Sadhus. And they should be of this nature. <coughs> so by that type of association, our inertas will go away, but we also must make some endeavor to give up our inertas. Krishna, it, it has many different 
varieties. It takes on many different forms to accomplish different purposes. And its highest manifestation is as Shimati Radhika, who is the embodiment of Mahabha, the highest development of brain. So, the difference, uh, the different gopis of Raj, the eternal gopis of Raj, they are kaya Bhima, they are direct bodily manifestations of Shimati Radhika. Of all the different manifestations of Shimati Radhika, she has three principal manifestations. One is the Braja Devis, or the Gopis of Raj, the Queens of Dwarka, and also the Lakshmis of Vaikuntha. So, the Gopis of Raj, those who are the eternal, eternal associates in Madhurya Ras, they are kind of Bhima, they are direct bodily manifestations of Srimati Radhika. And the queens of Dwarka are described as a first... Hear attentively. First they were described as Bhaga Prakash. And somewhere else they were described as Parva Prakash. That's what? <coughs> Parva Prakash. Parva Prakash. Parva Prakash. And anyway, a specific type of manifestation or expansion of Shimati Radhika. And the Lakshmis are partial expansion, Amsh. So just as Krishna is Avatari, Avatari means that he is the source of all incarnations. And all other manifestations, they are Avatar. They are they have been manifested from Krishna. So similarly, Srimati Radhika is the source of all various shaktis, all various potencies of the Lord, of different varieties. And just as Krishna has many different types of incarnations uh, in, in various categories, some are direct expansions, some are expansions of expansions, some are partial expansions or expansions of partial expansions. So there's many different varieties. So similarly, Srimati Radhika has many different types of manifestations and expansions. So only those gopis who are Nityasiddha, who are uh, eternal associates, they are Kaya Bhiva, they are direct bodily expansions of Srimati Radhika. And those who attain to the form of gopis by practicing sadhana in this world and then who attain perfection in that sadhana and then they go to Golok, uh, they are, they remain as sadhana sit or they become sadhana sit. They can never be uh, kaya diva. So there is a, a distinction. And the queens of Dwarka they are, use the expression here, Vimpa Prati Vimpa. So, this Vimpa Prati Vimpa, to give an example, the Vimpa is like the celestial bodies, like the sun, the moon, the planets, and then their reflections on water are Prati Vimpa. So in the same way, Shimati Radhika is the source of uh, all manifestations of the various shaktis and the queens are like pratidimba, they are reflections of her. So, uh, afterwards Maharaj uh, said that the queens are prabha prakash. Just as in Dwarka, Krishna has different manifestations such as Vasudeva, Sankarsha, Pradyumta, And these are uh, Prabhu Prakash expansions of Krishna. So similarly, the queens of Dwarka are in the same category. And the Braja Devis, they are direct expansions of Shimati Radhika. 
but they may differ in certain features. It's like Lalita Vishaka, each of the gopis, particularly those who are the kind of expansions of Srimati Radhika, they are all manifestations, they are, they are all specific uh, manifestations of particular moods of Srimati Radhika. They all embody different moods of Srimati Radhika. And they may differ slightly in, in form or appearance or dress or moods, but they are all ultimately the moods of Srimati Radhika. And this is all to give variety and ecstasy to Krishna in his loving exchanges. Without variety, there can be no ulas. Ulas means uh, exaltation. So if there's only one form, uh, giving a quote from Chaitanya Chaitanya, that is, without many different gopis, then there could be no ulas, no exaltation. So ulas to whom? That's Krishna. So therefore, Srimati Radhika manifests as all the different gopis in order to increase Krishna's ecstasy and in order to increase the variety of loving exchanges with Krishna. So just as if a tree has no flowers, no leaves, no blossoms, then what is the value of that tree? So similarly, Srimati Radhika manifests many, many forms in order to increase Krishna's pleasure. And the mandaris like Rupa Mandari, Arati Mandari, they are also five year expansions of Srimati Radhika. And not only she manifests different forms, but also different moods. And there are five principal uh, groups of gopis. So Paksh means those who belong to Srimati Radhika's own group. Vipaksh means those who are uh, rivals to Srimati Radhika. Suritpaksh means those who are friendly. And Tathastapaksh means those who are neutral to Srimati Radhika's group. But Srimati Radhika is the basis of everything. She is the foundation. When we say Swapaksh, we mean that they are part of her group. When we say Vipaksh, rival to her. Suritpaksh, who are friendly to her. Tathastapaksh, those who are neutral to her. She is the basis and foundation of everything. They are ultimately uh, manifestations. They are also manifestations of her to create different intrigues and variety to please Krishna. And uh, also the different moods she exhibits, like when she exhibits mom, mood of uh, jealous anger. That is also for increasing Krishna's pleasure. And when Chandravali hears that Krishna has gone to Srimati Radhika, then she also exhibits man. But her man is not so high, is not as developed as Srimati Radhika. And the nature of her man is that she simply becomes silent. She doesn't say anything. She doesn't exhibit any external symptoms of being angry with Krishna. She simply doesn't say anything. So this doesn't give so much ecstasy to Krishna. But when Srimati Radhika hears that Krishna has gone to the grove of Chandravali, then she becomes very angry with Krishna. And her mind is so intense, it is so developed, that Krishna has to perform great austerities to try to break that mind. And he also has to approach the feet of her sakis like Balita and Vishaka. And he has to uh, humble himself and put his head at their feet and beg that they will appeal to Srimati Radhika to again accept him. So all of these varieties of uh, different moods and different gopis, they are all to give pleasure to Krishna. So <clears throat> it is very essential that when we are uh, performing our sadhana, 
that we must cultivate this understanding. We must have an understanding of uh, Krishna's Leela and Krishna's associates and what is their what is their position, how she, what is the nature of Srimati Radhika as the embodiment of, of Mahabha, how she manifests different forms and different moods to give pleasure to Krishna. We must know all these things if we aspire to enter into that realm. And by hearing all these things, we'll naturally develop oh, we'll, we'll develop greed to us to attain this moon. And Sri Gurudev was saying that if we have come in the separate diet of Chaitanya Mahaprabhu, who came specifically to distribute these things, and and also we are hearing about these things, and we don't develop greed to attain this, then there is absolutely no value in our coming in the Sampradaya. We might as well have come in the Sampradaya of Ramanuja. But then after that, he specified an important distinction between uh, even the performance of Vaidhi Bhakti within the Sampradaya of Chaitanya Mahaprabhu and Vaidhi Bhakti within the Sampradaya of Ramanuja. So, the point is that Although both may be Vaidhi Bhakti, but by performing Vaidhi Bhakti in Ramanuja Sampradaya, even for millions of lifetimes, there is no chance that that Vaidhi Bhakti will ever be converted or elevated through Ramanuja Bhakti. Whereas, if one is performing Vaidhi Bhakti properly in the Sampradaya of Chaitanya Mahaprabhu, which means also hearing of all of these conclusions, about Chaitanya Mahaprabhu and his teachings, then by performing regular devotion and under the direction of sadhus and hearing these instructions, then naturally, or rather by that by that association and by that hearing, then gradually that body bhakti will become converted into Bhagavad Bhakti. Therefore, in essence, the body, even the body bhakti, which is performed in Chaitanya Mahaprabhu Sampradaya, is not uh, exclusively body bhakti, but it is body mixed with the ragma. So then he said that in, in the Ramana Sampradaya, you will never have the chance to hear about. You'll never have the chance to hear the name of Krishna or Radhika or the Gopis or the Sakas. You'll only hear the names of Lakshmi and Narayan. And that's when they all began to chant. <laughs> and uh, <clears throat> at the end of it, Srila Trivikram Maharaj was exhibiting some ecstasy. <laughs> so, धर्मते प्रजनना भाव रस भेजे कृष्ण के कराए राधा दके लीला स्वादे गोविंद आनंद नी राधा गोविंद मोहित नी गोविंद सर्वस्व सर्व कांता शिरो इसकी हम कल व्याख्या करें आज समय हो गया है तब एक समझिए उठा की बॉडी फक्की रोतो जाने हम देखा कि यूज़ तू तू फ़ज़न किया वीकिंग लेमेंटेड सो मच एंड अगेन आफ्टर मिड डे ही यूज़ तू गो तू अक्रू एंड देखा कि यूज़ तू टेक मास्क करी एंड अगेन नेक्स्ट डे ही यूज़ तू कम एंड देयर दी के पत्नी लिविंग हाउ देर हस्बैंड्स एंड एवरीथिंग they took all the dexes preparation and they came to Krishna there and they gave it and they were not ready to return to their husband but Krishna anyhow pacified them and they at last they went and they are, when their husband saw that oh, they have gone to supreme personality of Godhead Krishna but we could not do anything so they began to beg pardon from the go from the Vijapati. So that place 
So I want to go instead of Wilbur because we cannot go there. There is so much danger. So I want that we should go sure to that place. If you are ready today, you can go today. We can go there. Otherwise, we can go tomorrow. So if you want to go today, you can go. Otherwise, you can go tomorrow. What you want? Today or tomorrow? Tomorrow. 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 Or today? Today. 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 Not today. Tomorrow we will make breakfast here, some preparation, and then we will leave. So let's go today. You can go to Aratha Damodar and come back. Go to Maharaj to speak on the teachings of Lord Sri Chaitanya. 
So Sri Chaitanya Maharaj, we saw how humbly he was feeling that he is incompetent to do so. And thus he was saying that though I am not qualified to really speak on this transcendental subject matter, I have full faith that Srila Maharaj and Acharya Sabhar Parampara has invested me with that mercy by which I will be able to speak something on the teachings of Lord Sri Chaitanya. Lord Sri Chaitanya Maha, Mahaprabhu, He has given all the teachings in Shikshtashtaka. And if we try to understand Shikshtashtaka, then we will see there is different levels of teachings He gave. And there are deeper and deeper understandings given in Shikshtashtaka. But I feel that is the most prominent teaching given in Shikshtashtaka, beginning from the first verse till the eighth verse. If anybody is if anybody is desirous of speaking Harikatha or wants to do Kirtan, then the qualification given is he must be Tanat Apishwari Jain. He should not have any desire for name and fame for his own self. And also simultaneously he should be ready to give all respect to everyone. Then only he is qualified to speak on Harikatha. Otherwise he is not qualified. And Today in this assembly, collectively, all of us, specifically pointing to all the great Vaishnavas who are present on the dais, they have selected Srila Maharaj to be the main person for today's function. And Srila Sripa Maharaj said that this Tanagapi Suniche Shlok, which we hear in Shishtashtra, can be seen in the personality of Srila Bhaktivedanta Narayan Maharaj. How expertly he is giving proper respect to his god brothers, to his uncle gurus and to also those who are inferior to him. One might think that this big function which we are seeing today is being organized here with the desire to show that how much I can do. But Srila Tirka Maharaj said, it's not true. Srila Bhakti Ranta Narayan Maharaj has only one desire and that is to respect all the Vaishnavas. With this desire only, he has organized today's function. Now, the Nadapi Suni Chaita Shlok. Before this Shlok, we have heard Cheto Dharpar Macharam Bhav Maha Dhavagni Nirvaparam In this shlok, we have understood Param Vijayate Sri Krishna Sankirtanam So, Shema Mahaprabhu has very clearly said that in Kaliyuga, there is no other process for the conditioned soul from deliverance from this material world and as well as to attain the highest gift that is Krishna praying. In other yugas or other millenniums, there were so many other processes. But in Kali Yuga, Krishna Nam is the only way. But we should understand that Srimad Mahaprabhu has not given anything new. This instruction has also given in Kali Santra Nupanishad. Hari Naam, Hari Naam, Hari Naam, Uva Kevalam and Shri Maharaj also gave so many verses from Shri Mahathagatam. So, we also hear Evam Prata Sapkle Naam Akritva Jatanu Raghu Dutachitra Uchay that when the devotee, he develops taste in particular names which are very conducive to develop or to cultivate his specific mood, his specific relationship with the Lord, then he gets absorbed and Due to that absorption, 
he sometimes cries, sometimes he laughs, and he feels so many symptoms of ecstasy. This is only possible through Hari Kirtan. This is only possible through name. By no other way it is possible. Or we don't see in any other religion of the world, we don't see in any other sampradaya that this is possible. But only by chanting Krishna in the line of Srimad Mahaprabhu as he has directed us, we can achieve this gift. Otherwise, it's not possible. Furthermore, we hear Nadhanam Nadhanam Nadhundarim Kavitam Vajagadisha Kamari. And in this verse, Srimad Mahaprabhu is very clearly mentioning about selfless bhakti. He wants devotion which is completely unalloyed with any other desire but just to serve Krishna for his pleasure, not for our pleasure. We don't see even this mood anywhere else. Only here in this line, in this Sapataya of Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu, we talk about devotion to such a highest degree where devotee does not have even a taste or even a sense of his own pleasure or any desire for his own happiness. He simply prays and always endeavors to please Krishna and his senses. And this verse or this mood culminates in the last verse, Ashilakshama Pavatam Pinishkumam Adashanat Marmahatam Kurudua. In that verse, we see the highest mood of Shimati Radhika in separation when she is feeling Krishna is not there and she is dying out of separation. At that time, how she is able to console herself? The only way she is able to console is by Krishna Nam. Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare, Hare Ram, Hare Ram, Ram Ram, Hare Hare. This is how she achieves peace. Of course, she is, she doesn't have any shortcomings. But in the past time, because Krishna has left and she is dying of separation, the only way she consoles herself is by chanting Krishna Nam. Why? In that state, when she is chanting Krishna Kirtan, she doesn't have any other desire and she doesn't have any other thought. She is completely absorbed in all the thinking all the different qualities of Krishna. And she becomes completely absorbed by chanting this Krishna name. So in this Tom Jagat, to taste the same mood of Srimati Radhika in Vipranam through chanting Harinam. So this is exclusive teachings of Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu which we see in our Sampradaya and it's not possible and it cannot be seen anywhere else in any other religion or in any other Sampradaya. Hare Hari Parasandara Yuti Kadam Vasandi Pitha 
कहानी वृंदावन धाम जहां वृंदावन Only through surrender, as it is told, Naya Matma Pravatani na Lopya, na me bhaya, na bahu na sutena, jame bhaya brunte tera nukha, tachi ek atma bhi brunte ek nukha. As you cannot understand the supreme Godhead, you cannot understand the supreme. सुप्रीम लॉर्ड चैतन्य और सुप्रीम लॉर्ड श्री नित्यानंद यू कैन अंडरस्टैंड ओनली थ्रू सबमिशन यू कैन नॉट अंडरस्टैंड दिस भक्त की विलासवि भक्ति तो भगवत भक्त संगेन सम परिजाय त्रिजग महाप्रभु चोर अबाउट भक्ति एन कवि युगम भक्ति इज ओनली मीन द नाम इमाम भक्ति नाम संकीर्तन इज ओनली नेसेसरी फॉर ऑल डिजेवा टू अटेन द इटर्नल प्लेस सब शुड बी डन बाय भक्ति तो भगवत भक्त संगे न पर जाए ट्रू एसोसिएशन ऑफ भक्त ओनली यू कैन अंडरस्टैंड व्हाट इज भक्ति 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 यू 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 कैन 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 अंडरस्टैंड एंड भक्ति विल टेक यू एंड दैट भक्ति वाज स्टार्ट बाय श्री चैतन्य महाप्रभु एंड वी आर पार्टिसिपेट दैट महाप्रभु महाराज अमर अवर रिवेयर रिवेयर श्री चैतन्य महाराज हैव कम टू दैट एम भक्ति धाम दैट फॉर मंदिर आर आपकी वाइफ के लिए और नाउ महाराज अब रियल महाराज एस कंटेक्टेड दिस ग्रुप सनातन ओके यू हैव टू यू हैव टू अंडरस्टैंड द मीनिंग ऑफ इट रूप सनातन बिकॉज रूप एंड सनातन महाप्रभुस्टैंडी The method of worship and which can be obtainable through surrender. What is that surrender? Rupa Goswami says, 
ਸਦਾ ਹਰੀ ਕੀਰਤਨ ਦੀ ਹੁਕਮ ਤੋਂ ਡੇ ਐਂਡ ਨਾਈਟ ਡੇ ਐਂਡ ਨਾਈਟ ਫਾਰ ਈਟਿੰਗ ਵਾਈ ਸਲੀਪਿੰਗ ਵਾਈ ਲੋ ਆਫ ਮਾਪ ਸੋ ਜੇ ਜੋ ਨਾ ਮਾਪ ਰੋਜ਼ ਟੀਚਿੰਗ ਸਤਰਾ ਕੋ ਵੀ ਸੁਨੀਦ ਤਰੋ ਰੋ ਕੇ ਸੋਏ ਤੋ ਸਿ ਟੋਲਰੈਂਸ ਆਫ ਦਿਸ ਪਰਫੈਕਟ ਫਾਰਮ ਇਟ ਟ੍ਰੀ ਯੂ ਹੈਵ ਟੂ ਲਰਨ ਟ੍ਰੀ ਸੈਂਸ ਓਨਲੀ ਟੂ ਸਰਵ ਅਦਰਸ ਸੋ ਆਪ ਸੇ ਸਾਬ ਉਹ ਯਾ ਸਾਬ ਉਹ ਹੀ ਮਸਤ ਕੈਨ ਓਨਲੀ ਟੂ ਸਰਵ ਕੋਬੇ ਜੀਵੇ ਦਇਆ ਹੋਈ ਦੇ ਉਦਾਰ ਨਿਜੋ ਸੁਖ ਭੁਲੀ ਸੁਧੀ ਨਾ ਉਤਾਰ ਬਿਨੋ ਤੋ ਸੇ ਹੋ ਹੋ ਬਰਿਆ ਬਿਨੋ ਸ੍ਰੀ ਆਗਿਆ ਤੋ ਬਰਿਆ ਨਾ ਜੀ ਜਲਦੀ ਹੋ because yeah the compassion toward humanity and all the different souls those who are suffering to uplift them is only the procedure adopted by sri chaitanya mahaprabhu hare naam hare naam hare naam hi vakke bolo karo na ke bana ke bana that was the name to be at this to na bhi sunijo karo ro ke sahishnu amani mahanam he could not thank us after he after he demands what is that demand respect from us all should regard him all should respect him now he should sacrifice and he should respect us ਮਨੇ ਗੰਦਵਤ ਭੂਮੋ ਅਸ ਚਰਨਾਲ ਕੋ ਖਰਾ ਤੋ ਆਰ ਯੂ ਹੈਵ ਟੂ ਕੀਪ ਯਰ ਰਸਕੇ ਜੋ ਜੋ ਕੰਸੀਡਰ ਦਾ ਐਵਰੀਬਡੀ ਇਜ਼ ਗੋਇੰਗ ਹਟ ਐਵਰੀਬਡੀ ਇਜ਼ ਸੁਪਰੀਮ ਐਂਡ ਗ੍ਰੇਟਸ ਦੈਟ ਇਵਨ ਅ ਡੌਗ ਇਵਨ ਅ ਡੌਗ ਈਟਰ ਇਵਨ ਅ ਕਾਉ ਇਵਨ ਅ ਡੌਂਕੀ ਇਸ ਤਰ੍ਹਾਂ ਸਭ ਭੂਤਾ ਨਾਮ ਉਤੇ ਜੀ ਅਰਜਨ ਕੀਤਾ ਰਾਮਯਾਤ ਸਰਬਭੂਤਾਨੀ ਜੋ ਪ੍ਰਾਰਥਨਾ ਤੁਮਾਰੇ ਸਰੀਸ਼ ਕਿਰਤਾ ਸਰੀਸ਼ ਕਿਰਤਾ ਨਾ ਯੂ ਆਸ ਐਵਰੀ ਬਟ ਸਰ ਸਰ ਐਵਰੀ ਐਵਰੀ ਸੋ ਮਾਰੇ ਸਰ ਬਟ ਇਟ ਡਿਪੈਂਡਸ ਅਪਾ ਅਵਰ ਅਵਰ ਯੂ ਵਾਂਟ ਸਰ ਕਿ ਜਿਵੋਚਨ ਦਾ ਪੈਸੇ ਚੈਤਨ ਮਾਪਰ ਚੈਤਨ ਮਾਪਰ ਤੋਂ ਸੇਸ ਆਮੀ ਤੋਂ ਬੋਇਤਾ ਕੇ ਬੁੱਧਿ ਹੋਈ ਦੇ ਅਮਾਨੀ ਨਾ ਬਵਾਮੀ ਤੇ ਉਹ ਇਤਨਾ ਹੀ ਪੀਕਿੰਗ ਸਾਇਮ ਗਰੇ ਆ ਤੇ ਮਾਸਟਰ ਆਫ ਦਾ ਯੂਨੀਵਰਸ ਆ ਹੈ ਕਮ ਟੂ ਅਪਲਿਕ ਆਫ ਯੂਰ ਡੈਫੀਨਟ ਥਿੰਗ ਨਾਟ ਡੈਫੀਨਟ ਥਿੰਗ ਨਾਟ ਇਟ ਇਜ਼ ਆਲ ਇਗਨੋਰੈਂਟ ਐਂਡ ਐਰੋਗੈਂਟ amani na ho ami then you think that there is why no then you will not surrender to him because all must surrender to you practically you must know this practically you must practice this you have to practice so this the mahapuru has appeared in this world the incarnation very very such incarnation to we never had mahapro ke swar and what he taught to you what he taught from the beginning from his boyhood as a brahmachari as a gurudva as a vanaprastha as a sanyasi and as a vaishnava and as a higher level of vaishnava ever seen he has taught from grassroots he has taught he fit in acharya to a great acharya who takes a group in his hand and all all his devotees to follow everybody is given a guru the man who ever never touched a guru in his life he was given a guru and a water park he was come to kundija mandi Jagannath, where Jagannath will come and sit the next day, you must come. But we should clean the temple of Jagannath, we must clean it. If the temple is kept clear, then Jagannath will sit and happy and bless you. So, mine also must be clear. Our 
mind out so much to do. So this is a teacher who has told all of them to take a group and keep the heat whatever they collect. The dust must be kept in it separately. So everybody collected it and kept the heat for 200 devotees. Then he asked, where is he? Where is your collection? Could you ever to collect? No. No, you could not do. You should take a broom like this and sit like this. Because he never knew how to do it. And he told And at last he said, you combined by his. All his were combined. Then Mahaprabhu he is there. 200 people collection is it, 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 nothing before Lord Chaitanya. One single hand he has done this service and two hundred Vaishnavas have done this service. The collection is not greater to take your Mahaprabhu's service. So Mahaprabhu says that service. Now, and we have to keep the place clean, the temple clean. The Lord Simhasana must be kept clean so that the Lord may sit on the throne. So our mind must be kept clean. Our mind must be kept clean. Why? Mon, Bhavana, Bhavana, Mon, Tumi Yati Dutta. विषय विषय अच्छे हैं फिर चे तुम्हारे भाई ऐसा बोलित काम क्रोध लोभ मोह मर्दा मार्चर्ड ऐसा बोलित ऐसा वो नाचे नहीं पीछे बाबेरा ना पीछे without living out this how can you attain the Lord supreme Lord it is not it is not so easy that we have traveled you have traveled such a long distance and spent so much has come here and you are benefited. You must really think how much, what benefit you have received to come to this place. You have received that unless you cannot come. It is the blessing, blessing of the Lord to come. And Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu, he told everyone, as a, as a brahmachari, they never used to talk or mix with the girls. Oh. As a grihastha, he always ordered his mother to cook for ten pence per paisa. Nothing, no single paisa. Nothing. How can she prepare? She will borrow and prepare it. And that after that, after a week, Mahaprabhu brings some one or two dollars of gold and asks Mother to spend that in Every day, he used to ask Mother, today, tell Vaishnavas, tomorrow, I'm 15 Vaishnavas, 20 Vaishnavas. But that there is any article or not, he doesn't want a Gurhatta. What a Gurhatta should do? They are stolen. And other important things also there. And as a Vana Prasta, we have to practice enunciation from authority. But Dikya is necessary. Mahaprabhu has accepted Dikya. And after Dikya, he came here. Now, he used to do the service of Vaishnava. Prior to that, when any Vaishnava Srivada Pandit or Kumukunda or Murari Gupta, or other bhakta, tada, other pandit, when they come, they will ask the Vartilapa, other Guru. Now, he wants to do the service. So that I can get the blessings of the Vaishnava and the blessings of the Vaishnava Prabhu and Govrata Mahaprabhu and Siddhartha Krishna or Arna. Oh, I will. 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 O
in a very good way and in a very good process. Puri Maharaj. Puri Maharaj. In a very simple way. It may be the essence of all teachings of Sri Chaitanya. Now I am requesting. Now I am requesting. पुरी महाराजी के मुख से बंदे रुसी चरवार बच्चा तोप तोप बच्चा कृपा शंद भाई बच्चा बदिता नाम पाप तो बच्चा पंचोत्तात्मकं क्रियं भक्तावतार भक्तकं नमामि भक्तिशक्तिकं सोफा The teaching of Chaitanya Mahaprabhu has been put forth before this assembly by so much. Standard and advanced and exalted devotees. Maharaj is saying that in a very short and brief, he is glorifying Chaitanya Mahaprabhu's teaching by one word recited by Shri Vishnu Chakrasimhar and Aradhya Bhagwan Pradesh Sanya. In this word, Chaitanya Mahaprabhu has been. Whatever he has been told, that essence has been given by Shri Vishnu Narcha Pratipa. There are so many gods, lords, being worshipped by different people according to their qualification and shatta. But the top most worshipable deity is Prajesh Tanya. That is Prajendra Nandan, Shyam Sundar, Gopinath, he is the topmost worshipable deity. This is proved by the topmost scripture which is called Srimad Bhagavatam. Srimad Maharaj is telling that Prajendra Nandan, Shyam Sundar is the topmost truth, Param Satya. No, nothing is more superior to that. And his abode, Vrindavan, where he is residing, is the topmost abode. The proof is, again, Srimad Bhagavatam, this is the essence of teaching of Chaitanya Mahaprabhu. And to worship him, there are so many ways. Different devotees have different moods. With different moods, they render their worshipping to Prajendra Nandana Shyam Sundar. But the topmost way of worshipping that Prajendra Nandana Shyam Sundar is the way gopis have done. The process of gopis, <laughs> the height of gopis' frame is shown by Krishna himself during last time when he disappeared and after some time when he reappeared, at that time he sang. He sang to Gopis that the way you have worshipped me, the way you have loved me, I cannot repay this debt in my life. Even if I get the life with the length of demigod's life. Demigod life is supposed to have, they have very long life. If I get a, such a long life, I can repay that debt. Why? Maharaj is in a very fast statement with a very, very well worded language he is saying. Akhandichit, that with your whole heart you have surrendered yourself to me. You have rendered your services wholly to me, not only by whole heart, wholly to me. With your whole heart, with your whole mind, with your whole body. You have given up everything for me. You have given up your 
household activity. Your house whole ties and the top four things of a lady, of a female, of a just a woman is her shame, her chastity, her purity. Even you have sacrificed that me, that thing also to satisfy me. How can I repay your debt? You have worshipped me with this parkiya haa. This is your topmost worshipping to me. So I cannot repay the debt of your worshipping to me. Maharaj is saying that this, this day we will discuss tomorrow. This is the essence of teaching of Chaitanya Mahaprabhu which shows the path and lead us how we should surrender to the worshipping and how should we do our service. also for those who are having material desire because it has got potency. If just we go there, touch it, we get its potency. We can realize it to some extent. But by going there only, we don't get the full extent, <coughs> potency in full extent. When we go there, and remember the some pastime of Krishna and get absorbed in those pastimes, then we receive its full potency. So we are fortunate that we have been going here and there are so many places and not only going here <coughs> listening the different pastimes of that places, therefore we are re re receiving the maximum benefit. Now we have come to this place, Akrur Ghat, very special place. When Akrur Ji came from Mathura, being sent by Kans to take Krishna back to Mathura, at that time he went through this way. This was the way where Akrur Ji took Krishna and Balram with him to Mathura. This is at the bank of river Yamuna. So in the evening, Akrurji stopped here and he went to Yamuna, took bath in order to perform his Sandhya Bhajan. When he went to Yamuna ji and took bath, he saw Krishna Balram to whom he left on the chariot. He saw there in Yamuna ji. He again ran and to see 
whether Krishna Balaram has left that chariot and then he found that he, they were sitting on the chariot also. Again he went there and at Jamna again he saw Krishna Balaram. Krishna is leaving Braj, Vrindavan. So this is creating and generating Vipralamba Bhav. Maharaj is saying that by Vipralamba Bhav, that is by the mood of separation, <coughs> the highest state of Radha Rani's Mahabhav has been explicitly seen. Sometimes it appears that in the state of separation, Radharani and gopis must be feeling acute pain and misery because separation leads to disturbance and troubles and pain. But it is said that she was and gopis are and whoever is feeling the mood of separation, they enjoy the mood of separation. More the mood of separation, highest is the enjoyment. Then Maharaj is giving the reason for it. Mood of separation means one is absorbed in the thoughts of that person. Whenever one is in the mood of separation, he is absorbed in the thought of that person. <coughs> and because of that absorption, if one is somehow or other getting an opportunity to be absorbed in Krishna, how can he be unhappy? Therefore, in the state of mood of separation, if because one is absorbed in his thought, in his pastime, in his feelings, therefore, in the feelings of Krishna, therefore, that that mode of separation also brings the highest uh, uh, highest happiness. Also, Chaitanya Mahaprabhu came here. He stayed here. And Maharaj is saying that he performed Sankirtan here and he Imlitala. He stayed here and in the morning he used to go to Imlitala from here. And he proved that by Sankirtan you can derive any state of mood and any state of devotional attitude. <coughs> Very nearby there is a place, Bhatrol, where we are very near there is temple, we will go there, we are wives of Brahman, they fed Krishna and Maharaj will tell that pastimes of this uh, Brahman's wife in detail there. God Premanande. When Krishna came here during cow grazing, the Sarkas became hungry, then Krishna sent him, the Brahmans of Mathura, they have been I have sacrificed, go there and ask for some food. Sokas went there back and request that Krishna and Baladev came here for cow grazing. Please give something for Krishna and Baladev. But Brahmins hearing everything, not hearing, they deny indirectly. Then Sokas came without a, the Sokas came back and told us oh, Krishna, they are denying us. Then Krishna told, go to the Brahmanis, they are very merciful, they are very affectionate, better you can go there. So, Sokhas came back again. As soon as Brahmanis here heard that Krishna and Baladev came here to do cow grazing, they came immediate with all kind of food stuff here and they feed in Krishna and Baladev. They want to stay with Krishna and they, they describe in Krishna's beauty. Samam Hiranna Paridhim Banaman Labarha Dhatu Prabhala Natave Samanup Pratanse Vinnas Tahasta Mitari Nadhunana Mabjam Karnat Balada Kapola Mukhaja Hasam Samam Hiranna Paridhi. So what is the dress of Krishna? Hiranna Paridhi means like golden color Pitambar. Banamala Barha, on his neck, Banamala. Dhatu Prabha Natave Samanupratanse. The Sokas decorate him in so many 
so many goyik bal dhatu and peacock feather top of his head and proof on his hand so in bhagavad there is three prominent shows of krishna's beauty one is by jagdapatni another by gopi another by brahma among this this one one of them the shoka came here to brahmanis and brahmani immediate took everything and came to here and feed krishna then the brahmans when they came back here in mathura then brahmans they told oh we are so unfortunate that krishna baladev came we could not feed them so our, our three janmas is high on us high on us gopis they have no brahmanis they have no sanskar like brahmans they have no sacred thread they have no right to read vedas but brahmans they have all these rights but they have no affection for krishna so brahmanis are superior to brahmans and they are, so they are regarded by all devotee here according to bhagavatam the brahmanis are superior to brahmanas brahmans and now when they came back brahmanas respect them more than as before hare krishna so here is also brahma hrad when nanda baba caught by followers of varun he took bath before brahma murta this general known nan ke take bath before brahma brahma murta nanda baba took bath in brahma before brahma murta the followers of varun no nanda baba जनरल रूल नान कैन टेक बाथ बिफोर ब्रह्म मुहूर्त नंद बाबा टूक बाथ दिन बिफोर ब्रह्म मुहूर्त नंद घाट दैन फॉलोअर्स ऑफ वरुण केम एंड चूक हिम बिकॉज सिल वरुण देव वरुण देव वॉन्ट टू टेक दर्शन ऑफ कृष्ण सो ऑल ब्रजवास इज टेलिंग ओ कृष्ण ओ बलदेव नंद देर इज नो नंद बाबा ही वेन टू टूक बाथ इन नॉट अंडर अगेन then krishna told please wait a little bit i am coming and i shall bring back my father this noyam to varun lok sing krishna varun they became so happy and worship krishna and donate so many presentation then on the to lo he is my son he is respecting so much my son oh he is not an ordinary boy and they respect varun ananda all so much when nanda baba came back in braj I narrated the whole story that Varun Dev he respect Krishna so much. The all the Brajavasis request Krishna, Oh Krishna, we want to show that love where Nanda Baba went there. Then Krishna told, Oh yes, no problem. Then he took all Brajavasis, came Brahma Raj and asked to sing here. When they sing here, then they saw his Golok Dham. So the Subhananda Prabhu told. that first they saw brahma jati after that goykuntha after that golok golok dham golok dham they saw krishna but krishna is the silent this because golok is full of opulence so after that they saw krishna not talking not running towards nanda baba not not nor any option Respecting mood for Nanda Baba, they told Lord Krishna, "We don't like this." <coughs> then Krishna took them again in Vrindavan. Then they became very happy. So Krishna eternal dham is Vrindavan dham. Brajavas is the Hindu sing. Hindu so popular sometimes. <laughs> they never be happy. So here we can take this teachings. 
that there is so many dhams of Krishna, but Vrindavan dham is superior to all and another dham. So all the devasis not became happy in Golok, Golok dham when they came back again in Vrindavan, so they became very happy. They want to teach us that Vrindavan dham is superior to all other dhams. Hare Krishna. Maharaji is saying, so many past times you have heard by Kujpati Vikram Maharaj and Brahmachari. <laughs> Referring to <coughs> past time of uh, Agarurji saw Krishna Balram when he was performing his Ani and he saw Krishna Balram at Chariot. Maharaji is explaining us something. <coughs> he is saying that when Krishna Vasudev brought Krishna from Matra to Gokul, keeping him on his head. At that time, Yamuna wanted to touch the feet of Krishna. It started flooding and coming up. And when it came to the point of neck of Vasudev and even higher, at that time, Krishna dropped his feet down and touched the Yamuna and then Yamuna touching Krishna feet, then it settled it down. <laughs> this is the place, Yamuna, which was dividing Matra and Vrindavan. In the midst of Yamuna, when there is a territory, the junction of Matra and Vrindavan, at that time, this Krishna, which was not a real Brajendra Nandan Krishna, which Vasudeva was carrying, it was Vishnu Tattu, Vasudeva Krishna, which was manifested before Vasudeva as four-handed Narayan and then became a baby Krishna. This Vasudeva stayed back when it touched the Yamna and Prajendra Nandan Krishna was replaced there. And hence Vasudeva took Prajendra Nandan Krishna to Google. <coughs> Similarly, when Akronji is bringing Baldev Prabhu and Krishna. Then Krishna original, Prajendra Nandan Krishna and Balram, they stayed back. And Akronji, when he was performing his Anik, when he saw, at that time he saw Mathuresh Krishna and, Mathure, uh, and Balram of Mathura, not Prajendra Nandan Krishna. Another point that Poochipat Sri Vikram Maharaj has said that though Radha Rani is feeling separation, but because in separation she is absorbed in Krishna mood, Krishna pastime, so a person who is absorbed in Krishna's mood can never be unhappy. So she is happy, she is enjoying even at the time of separation because of being absorbed in Krishna. Maharaj is saying, uh, Gurudev is saying that this is the statement of Tattva Ved. Try to understand. Who knows the truth? Who are Tattva Ved? And Maharaj is, Puja Patri Vikra Maharaj is saying this thing which belongs to highest class of Philosophy. This is fact that if one is absorbed in thinking of Krishna, he can never be unhappy. But Mara said, those who are in Ras Tattva, like gopis, they will never say that Radha Rani should always feel separation and in separation absorption and in absorption happiness. No. They feel very pretty, they feel their heart pain. Mara said, like Bhishma Vidama, when he was throwing arrows on Krishna, at that time, those who were with, they said, 
Krishna is supreme personality of Godhead. So Bhishma Pidama was throwing arrows and Krishna was not get, Krishna was not getting inflicted by those arrows because he is supreme personality of Godhead. <coughs> but Jeev Goswami did not accept it. He said, no, 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 no. If you are throwing arrows, if you are piercing arrows on Krishna, <coughs> Krishna will feel pain. Bhishma Pidama must be doing this thing in his very different mood or must have been at that time haunted by some ghost and he was doing like that. So, once upon a time, when Chaitanya Mahaprabhu was here, well, Maharaj said one thing more. In reality, the misery and pain of separation to Radha Rani is far more than <coughs> Kaal could wish. You know Kaal could wish? Far more than Bhavanal. Bhavanal is the fire beneath the sea. It is huge fire. And happiness at the time of meeting, it dances on the head of all happinesses. Therefore, gopis and brajvasis always want meeting, not separation. When Chaitanya Mahaprabhu was staying here and he used to go to Himli Tala, which is the about the um, intensity of separation. Uh, intensity of separation. Uh, oh.
विशेष अनुग्रह के पात्र है किसको भी जिन जिन लोगों ने इसमें संकलन में अर्थ करने में जो सहायता दी है उनमें श्रीमान हरिप्रिय जी परमेश्वरी जी पुरंदर जी कुंदरी जी अमर कृष्ण जी इत्यादि ने सहायता की है श्रीमान शुभानंद जी ने नवीन जी ने इस सब लोगों ने सहायता की है इनको भी प्रेमानंद जी ने देखिए सब लोगों ने इनको भगवान अनुग्रह करें गुरु पार्थ जी कृपा से और ये इसका हम विमोचन पूज्य पाल विवेकम महाराज जी इसका विमोचन करेंगे गुरु महाराज जी के चरणों में से अगर भी तब हाथ में हस्त कल में दे करके और जगत महाराज जी ने और विवेकम महाराज जी इसका विमोचन और उसका विचित्री वाला अंग्रेजी वाला कहा है वन कॉपी शुड बी प्रिंट ब्रॉट हियर विचित्री है इंग्लिश ट्रांसलेशन ऑफ कॉपी ऑफ इतिहास चल रहा है ये
go energetically. My heart be blessings and having I am saying to my Guru Dev and my Guru Parampara, Sri Rupa Swami and Sri Chaitanya Sachinandam Gauri that he may inspire me to do all. And also I, I know that there are so many uh, qualified devotees that would help us in printing all those. Bhav Brahma. Very deep subject, uh, and I require Maharaj Mansi to explain it. And translate it. Maharaj is saying that today we are not finishing the path. Rather, we are Samapan completing it. This is the eternal. Oh, we take to serve Krishna, so it cannot be finished. We have to take with us. And hence we are completing a certain So Puji Bhatri Pripti Vikram Maharaj has come forward with a Madhurin Samapan, he was saying, he has given a paper <coughs> in black and white, asked some questions to Maharaj, and this question is really, so that we can under the answers from Maharaj. The question is, that Krishna loves Dadharani a lot. He loves all the gopis and especially Radharani as much as that he declares that I cannot pay off your debt. Every time we see that gopis are chastising Krishna, scolding Krishna, saying very adverse remarks to Krishna, sometimes saying good, sometimes saying lumpert. It is very difficult to translate all these words in English because the English is not weightful enough to contain all the translation of all these words. Some people say only rascal. But still each and every word has got its own meaning and it is Chor, Kala, Akatakya, <coughs> And so many <coughs> qualifications, suffix, prefix, what you call Radharani and Gopis are saying to Krishna. And Krishna opens his both ears and hears it so carefully and enjoys it. He loves them so much that such chastising and scolding language is becoming so much pleasing to him. This all because of his love to Gopis and Radharani. Now it is said, as our Gurudev has said, that when Krishna leaves, in deep mood of separation, Radha Rani has a deep pain in her heart. It is compared with Barwadha, that is the fire inside the sea. It is compared with Kalkut Vish, that is poison of the whole universe. It is compared with <coughs> The miseries which is which dances on the top of our miseries. How come it is possible that a lover, a person who loves someone so much, can inflict such a heavy pain to his beloved? Not possible. So Pujiba Trivikram Maharaj is saying that this is an opinion that in 
separation. Dada Rani and Gopis are not feeling so much pain. They are enjoying it. There is some enjoyment in the mood of separation. This was the question present, presented by him to Maharaj. Maharaj said, this answer is very deep. From the Tattu point of view, from the point of view of all pervading truth, it may be said, yeah, it is like this. But, Srila Rupa Goswami, Srila Vishwanath Chakradipad, who have received a very little mercy from their lotus feet, they can understand what is the exact truth. To understand all these things, it's not easy. It requires a lot of sadhan bhajan, lot of Vaishnava association. Still, Maharaj is saying, I will try to do it. Even Uthav came to this place, Braj. He saw very closely the mood of separation of gopis and he was totally trembled. He was so much disturbed and distressed that he could not stay himself. He could not stay there for more than two and three months. He said when Krishna is inflicting such a high pain, infliction, giving so much high trouble to his so much beloved gopis, suppose if he give me such separation, what will be the result? So, being scared from the pain and the miseries of gopis, he ran away from there and came back to Krishna. So it is very difficult to understand it. But still, as per this the, uh, uh, explanation of Srila Vishwanath Chakradibhad, Maharaj is saying, we have already discussed it at Prem Sarovar. <coughs> Radha Rani is sitting on the lap of Krishna at that time, Madhu Mangal, driven away one bumblebee, very far away. And he comes again and says to Radharani, I have driven away Madhu Mangal so away that he cannot come again. And when she hears, sitting in the lap of Krishna, Madhu Sudan, I have driven away Madhu Sudan so long that he will not come again. And Madhu Sudan is name of Krishna also. Radharani, now Maharaj is explaining this is the highest mood of Radha Rani, which is called Prem Vachitra. It is not ordinary Prem Vachitra, Madan and Madan Nakhya Bhav and uh, uh, over that, this mood is, which is called Prem Vachitra. Sometimes this type of mood is seen in Satya Bhama and all, that is wives of Krishna. But this is not that type of mood. This is so high that in the lap of Krishna, Radha Rani is thinking, <coughs> that Krishna has left her. And she started crying. She started crying so much that as she started becoming faint. Krishna is with her. Krishna is seeing this thing. That my presence is doing nothing. My presence is creating a feeling of separation in her. And Krishna notices sometimes that in this mood of Prem Vichitriya, if sometimes Krishna is not there, in the real separation of Krishna, Radharani sees that the mal tree, it looks like him, her as a Krishna. She goes there, she embraces that tree, she starts decorating herself and she is talking to that tree and she is rejoiced, she starts feeling happiness. Why? This is the very, very high state of love. Radharani is separation with Krishna. Krishna is not with her. But at that time, she thinks, she has this feeling that Krishna has come and he, he has closed her eyes. Radharani closes her eyes. Krishna is seeing this thing from distance. And then Radharani is talking to her. That is Devya Hunamala. Different talking, she is keep on talking, smiling, laughing, rejoice totally as if Krishna is with her. This is the state of Radha Rani. Krishna says that it is very, very difficult for me to pacify Radha Rani because if I go to Radha Rani, she starts feeling separation and misery. And if I remain, uh, if I am away from her, then she enjoys. 
in order to give give real enjoyment to Radha Rani, Krishna was forced. He did not want it. He went away from Braj and went to Mathura. <coughs> Now here is the point that when they felt separation with Krishna, of course they are having acute pain in their heart. But in the mood of separation, when they think about Krishna and Krishna meetings takes place in their heart, I, I mean in Radharani's thinking, in her meditation, when she meets with Krishna, at that time she, she becomes very much pleased. The pleasure she received in the meditating stage during the time of separation, that pleasure is the pleasure which, uh, which dances on the head of all the pleasure available. Therefore, it is very difficult to understand. Shri Vishnu Chakrati Pada has said, we should try to uh, inculcate this thing in our heart through bhajan. And uh, Maharaj said, this is my, this is a very vast subject and I have spoken this much, we should try to understand. <coughs> now he has come to our original subject, that is Radha Tattu. Again from Chaitanya Charita Amrit, Maharaj is wonderfully saying that how, what is Radha Tattu? In brief. Up is there? No. Well, in brief, I will tell in brief everything, don't worry. Now, Krishna is thinking that Uh, uh, Krishna Kaviraj is thinking that the top most secret thing I am going to reveal, should I or should not I? Then he said, thought unqualified people should not be told about this thing and I should not tell. But if, he, if I won't tell it, then it will be diminished, it will be disappeared from this world. <coughs> what should I do? But still there are some people who are qualified for it. Maybe 0.00001% but they are not 0%. So they can hold it. <coughs> then another thought came to him. He said, these subjects are so much dead, so much deep that those who are not qualified and eligible, when they will read it, they will oppose it and by that opposition they will reject it. As they will reject it, so this is what I want, that they should not come and accept it. And only those who are really devotee, like cuckoos. Cuckoo eat the very new leaf of mango tree and uh, food means camel. He does not eat it. Camel prefers thorn. So if camel comes to tree of mango, he will never eat it. Therefore, to cuckoos, Sri Krishna Das Kaviraj is giving this deep secret things so that we can understand. Krishna is thinking that I am Poon Anand, Absolute Anand, who is full of Anand and give Anand to others. Rasa Sabru, personified Rasa, and the whole world enjoys from me. And no one is in this world who can give me enjoyment because I will be pleased only by the person who must be having some qualification and qualities more than me. And there is no question of that in this world anyone possesses qualities more than Krishna. But to speak of more than Krishna, no one possesses equal to Krishna. But one thing is there. Whenever I see Radharani, I get attracted. When I watch wonderfully, I find that her qualities, oh, oh. It is not more than me. It is <coughs> millions times more than me. They are so much more than me that I am too much very quickly get attracted towards her. <coughs> I have got a form which attracts everyone. 
it will attract the whole universe three bhuvan <coughs> but when i see radha rani i forget everything my form is tested by everyone in this three bhuvan whole universe but when i see radha rani i i get attracted in that relishment that i cannot narrate it <coughs> my flute when i play over flute it attracts everyone it even changes the nature of everyone living entity and non living entity like stone melts but whenever i present myself to radha rani and hear is hit her voice i forget to play over flute my flute is stopped because of radha rani sweet voice and what is the voice of radha rani sweet voice what is what she says Oh Krishna, you are good. You are rascal. Such beautiful and such sweet words of Radha Rani stop my flute. Why it is so? <coughs> when I see, when any people, any person sees me, he gets so much cool down as if one sees millions of moon together. But when I see Radha Rani, it gives so much pacification and. happiness to my heart and i am seeing millions of moons together why it is so this means i am so insignificant in front of radha rani she is so advanced but again he stopped and started thinking no another thought another thought came in krishna's mind which reversed the whole conclusion and this thought was but one thing is there but when when radha rani sees me she became mad more mad than me when she comes to me she talks to me when she loves to me she manifests such bhav in her that i cannot approach those bhav this means i should also be possessing something which is really journeying the heart of radha rani taking her to such highest mood what is in me now krishna is started feeling that something is more in me something is really very special in me which i myself don't know now he is trying to invent and discover his own qualities but he finds that it is very difficult for him to find it out because for that he should have another type of art he concluded it that if i somehow or other get radha rani's heart then i will be able to discover my real qualities then he try to steal the heart of radha rani so that he can also taste his own beauty which radha rani is tasting is it so easy to steal not easy he begs from radha rani radha rani says no it is not even so easy i will give and you will take go to vishakha go to lalita have training then you will acquire some eligibility to attain it then he goes to godavari tat as chaitanya mahaprabhu he descended down then he goes to godavari tat here there meets uh, vishakha that is namanand rai he gets training over there and then he finds himself now he will be little bit eligible and able to taste it then he comes back to puri there in kambira he meets lalita that is sabrut damodar and with the help of some sabrut damodar then he started stage his own beauty and understand what is his own beauty so <laughs> maharaj is saying that this is the this is the radha tattva that mood that heart which for which krishna himself gets greed greedy to have it and this is all for today and we should take it in our with our heart and should uh, uh, keep on rethinking on this matter throughout our year god premanande <laughs> look again navin krishna prabhu is reminding it appears that some of people have not taken their passport i don't know why are they are becoming so much lenient it is very important point they should take their uh, purse and passports and money whatever valuable they have deposited because again another function will come and he will not be able so uh, easily available for you aaj hum logo ka ye utsav samapt ho raha hai samapan ho raha hai ab kal hum log jayenge shavere 
दुर्भाषा में और वहां पर हम दर्शन करेंगे और वहीं पर प्रसाद की व्यवस्था रहेगी और फिर वहां से आकर के अपने अपने घरों में सभी लोग विदाई जो जहां है अब अपना हम चतुर्माश्य व्रत पूर्ज व्रत कार्तिक व्रत एंड क्लास एनिमल इन वॉन्ट टू से एंड आफ्टर अबाउट नाइन और टेन ऑल शुड कम हियर एंड ए फायर सेक्रीफाइस विल बी डन हियर एंड यू शुड गेम ऑफरिंग स्वाहा स्वाहा राधिका ये स्वाहा ये सुनिए एंड देन यू कैन टेक द रेमिनेंट्स ऑफ राधा शिशे चैतन्य महाप्रभु एंड राधा विनोद बिहारी एंड आफ्टर दैट वी विल फिनिश आवर यू कैन गो टू योर डेस्टिनेशन एंड अगेन आई प्रे यू ऑल That again, you should come in Gaur Purnima in Nau Dev Dham, Sachinandar Gaur Puri Dham. We will again give so many facilities to hear so much Hari Katha. Our log Nau Dev Dham me yahan se padhariyega. After two two months ke baad, four months. Ab four months ke baad hai yahan par Vaishnavo ne khub achhi tarah se khadi me dab de diya. Aur yahan par aap log padhariye. और वहां पर भी हरी कथा इसके बाद में जैसा प्रोग्राम होगा हम तो नहीं चाहते हैं कि आप लोगों को विदाई हो आप लोग जाएं किंतु हम लोग तो सन्यासी अकिंचन हैं हम लोग इतना समर्थ नहीं जो सब लोगों को इतना दिन रख सके और दूसरे आप लोग भी गृहस्थ हैं आप लोगों का भी एक एक दिन बड़ा मुश्किल है आप लोगों को परिवार का पालन पोषण करने के लिए उनके साथ में जाना भी आवश्यक है इसलिए फिर अगले हम हम लोगों का नवदीप धाम में आप लोग पधारी है हम लोग पूज्य बात कभी कम महाराज जी के मुख से समापन कीर्तन आराधे जय जय माँ भगवती के सुरूप गोस्वामी के इस राधिका जी के प्रार्थना के साथ में करेंगे करुणा कुरुमयी करुणा भरी दे और राधा जी प्रसन्न रहे आप सब लोगों को वे विल फिनिश इट बाई दी कीर्तन अब से लरूप को स्वामी करुणा कुरुमयी करुणा हो हो श्रीमती राधिका प्लीज मर्सी पुरी ये सर शावर योर मर्सी दैट वी मे शर्व यू इन एनी बर्थ और एनी टाइम सो यू सुड प्लेज टू अस श्री चैतन्य महाप्रभु शुड स्प्रिंकल हिज मर्सी टू यू ऑल सेम दिस वी आर फेनिशिंग दिस कार्तिक व्रत दाम गौ राधे जय जय